So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own native mobile application for both Android and iOS without writing a single line of code. That's right, no coding skills required. Absolutely nothing. All you need to have is a website and you can basically just convert that website into a native mobile application. Let's say you're running an online business with WordPress and WooCommerce and you want to basically convert your website where you sell stuff into a native mobile application so that your users can directly install your app and can make orders from your mobile app just like Amazon, let's say. How cool is that? And as I said, all of this requires no technical knowledge, no coding skills required. And there's one more benefit. You can do this for absolutely free of cost. And only if you like what you built with this platform, only then you can decide to upgrade your plan and publish your app to App Store or Google Play. I mean, if you ask me, that's a win-win situation for you. You only pay for it if you like it. So this is the platform that we're going to use. As the homepage says, create an app with the most powerful mobile app builder. So basically using this platform, you can convert your website into a native mobile application. And in this video, I'm going to convert this demo website, which is built with WordPress and WooCommerce into a native mobile application for both Android and iOS. So basically this website simulates an online store that sells apparel. So I'm going to go ahead and create a mobile application for this online store. So first of all, you can go to appmysite.com, which is the platform that we're going to use. And as I said, you can start for absolutely free of cost. So go ahead and click on start for free and register for a new account. I'm already registered and set up. So right here, I'll select create new app. And the first step is to obviously enter your website URL. So I'm going to go ahead, copy my website URL and I'm gonna paste it here. So in my case, I'm gonna select the CMS platform as WordPress, but if your website is not built with WordPress, you can go ahead and click on other. But let me tell you, this platform actually works flawlessly with WordPress and WooCommerce website, and it actually offers more features for WordPress and WooCommerce websites. So I'm gonna click on WordPress, and since my website also uses WooCommerce plugin, I'm gonna enable that. Here I can go ahead and give my app a name. I'll say Daily Fashion Store and click on build app. So now it's time to actually customize the app. The first step is to choose your app icon and it gives you two options. You can either create an app icon or you can upload it. So if you want to create it, you can choose the background color, you can choose the icon text, font size, font, etc. But in my case, I actually have a logo prepared for my app already. This is the logo that I'm gonna use. So I'll go ahead, go to upload and just select the app icon. So here I can actually crop my icon and then click on save and there you go. That is going to be my app icon. It looks, it looks good, right? Okay. I'll go to the next step, click on next. And now it's time to customize the launch screen. So this is basically the screen that comes up when the user clicks on your app icon. It's basically the first screen that appears when someone opens your app. So once again, you can actually set whatever background color you want. You can choose the text color, font, etc. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a background image instead of just a plain color. So I'll actually go ahead, go to pexels.com and I'm going to look for a stock photo that will fit my app's launch screen. So I'm going to just search for fashion here. And the first image I think will really suit my app's launch screen because it has got the yellow color to it, which matches my app icon. So I guess that will do. So I'll go back and I'll select my background image. So by the way, it actually offers some stock background images itself. If you want to choose from these images, or you can just go ahead and click on upload image. And I'm going to go ahead and select the picture that I downloaded done. So the background image, looks good, but you can see that the text here is not really that readable. And in order to fix this, we will add an overlay background color to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select and here, and I can basically select a tint color. So I'll select black. There you go. I'll select black. And now I can set the image opacity. So I will increase a little bit until my text is actually visible. And I think that's good. 46%, that looks good. So I'll set the logo text as daily fashion and I will increase the font size as well. I'll put it to 27, 25 maybe, there you go, that's good. So here I can also choose the font, but I'm gonna stick to the Poppins semi-bold. This is the font that I'll be using throughout my app. 
because that just looks good, doesn't it? And actually, I'm going to increase my opacity to 50%. That's better. Okay, click on next to go to the next step, which is customizing the login and sign up screen. So this is the screen where the user will log in or sign up to your application. So first of all, I'm going to set the logo text to daily fashion, and then I will choose the logo color. So I want to give kind of like an yellow shade to my app. So I'm going to set the logo color to dark yellow like that. That looks good, right? I think it looks good. And I'm going to let the background color be white. I'm not going to mess with that. And I'll let the font be the same as well. Okay. And here I can also change the welcome text. I can change this to login or create an account. Uh, but I think sign up looks better. So I'm just going to let it be as login or sign up. So I'm not going to change the text color because black is basically the standard color for text. So I'm going to let it be the same. The font size is also fine with me. That looks, that looks great. So finally, I can also customize the social icons. So in case you're wondering what the social icons are, your app's users can also log in with their social accounts. For example, they can log in with their Google account or their Facebook account or their Apple account, iCloud account. So you can actually customize these icons. So there's circle, there's square and there's rectangle. I think the rectangle looks uh, better. So I'm going to choose rectangle here. And then the color theme, I can choose the primary text color, the secondary text color. I'm not going to mess with them because they are the standard colors for text. And then I can actually change the button color here. And I'm going to change the button color and I'm going to put the button color same as the uh, logo color. So I'm going to copy that hex code and I'm going to paste it here. And there you go. Let's see how it looks. Yep, it, it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's all for this step. I'm gonna click on next. And now we get to choose the color theme. So by default, it is blue, but I don't really like the blue color. I'm going to set this to my yellow color, the same hex code that I used previously. And for the button as well, I'm gonna use the same hex color, same color basically. Yeah, that looks better. Click on next. And this is an important step. Over here, you can actually customize your home screen. So there are different components that you can either enable or disable according to your liking. So for example, there's home header, which is basically this uh, app's header right here. So if I disable it, it will disappear from the app's preview. But I actually want the home header because it gives the user, you know, an option to access the uh, app's menu and all that stuff. So I don't mind that home header right there. The next thing is the main banner. So this is basically this blue stuff over here. And I don't think that it looks that great. So I'm just going to disable that. And there you go, it disappeared. And then there's product categories. I want product categories and I can actually go ahead and choose the number of columns. So if I give four product categories, that doesn't look as good as three. So I'm just going to let it be the three. And I can either choose categories with image or just color. I'm going to choose categories with image. And I can also customize the shape. I'm going to go with the sharp uh, square like this. Okay, I want the sale products to be there. I want recently viewed products, featured products, cart, new products, block banner. I don't want a block banner, so I'm going to disable that. And then recent blocks, block categories. I want to invert this order, so I'll just drag this on top of this. And there you go, the order is now changed. And finally, there's web view. So you can basically show the web view of your website here with this component, but I do not want that, so I'll just disable it. Okay, that's it, so I'll just click on next now. And there you go, app dashboard designed successfully. The next step is to actually connect your WordPress website to App My Site. And in order to do that, you have to install the App My Site WordPress plugin. So log into your WordPress dashboard and go to plugins, add new, and search for App My Site. So this is the plugin, just install it. And once it's installed, go back to appmysite.com and click on verify. And this is going to verify if that plugin is installed on your WordPress website or not. So once it's verified, you will see a screen like this where you can actually connect your WordPress to App My Site. So in the administrator username, enter your WordPress username. And then in the application password, you first have to generate an application password and then enter here. So in order to generate the password, go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to users, profile, Scroll down and you'll find a section that says application password. So give your application a name. I'm going to name it as app my site and click on add new application password. And that's going to generate a password like this. So just copy it and then paste it in the application password text field like that. Since I'm also using WooCommerce, I'm going to connect my WooCommerce to app my site as well. So click on WooCommerce and here it gives you some steps on how you can connect WooCommerce to app my site. So basically go back to your dashboard, go to WooCommerce 
and click on settings and go to advanced, go to rest API. And over here, go ahead and click on add key. And you can give the description as app my site and make sure you change the permissions to read and write. Click on generate API key. This will generate a consumer key and a consumer secret. So copy the consumer key, paste it in the respective field. Same way, copy the consumer secret, paste it in its respective field. Okay, and once you're done, click on verify. And that's going to verify whether your WordPress and WooCommerce um, has been successfully connected or not. So there you go. It says API keys submitted successfully. And basically that's it. You're done creating your application. That's right. It takes hardly 10 minutes to create your application. On this screen, you can test your app. On the left side, there's an iOS emulator. On the right side, there's an Android emulator. So you can test your app on either iOS or Android. So if you just click here, that will load up the app, install it, and, and you can basically preview it like that. And hey, you can actually test your app on the real device as well. Just click on test app on real device, and it gives you two options, whether you're on iOS or whether you're on Android. So I have an iOS device with me, so I'm going to test this app on my iOS device. In order to test this on an iOS device, you need to first install an app named Test Flight from App Store. And once it's installed, just open your camera and scan the QR code that is displayed there. This will open up the app in Test Flight. Just go ahead and install it. And once it's installed, you can just open it and there is your app. And you can see it's exactly the way I designed it to be. First, you can see there are product categories. If I go to the men's category, I can see all my products here. I can choose a product, add it to cart, check out, and do all that stuff. And you can also see the bottom bar. For example, if I go to my blogs, I can see all the blogs, I can read them. And then if I go to the menu, I will see all the pages that are on my website. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And once you're done previewing your app, you can go ahead and build your app for both iOS and Android. But in order to do this, you actually need to upgrade your plan. You cannot do this on a free plan. But as I already said, you can upgrade only if you liked how your app is looking. You just previewed it. So if you liked how your app turned out, you can go ahead and upgrade your plan in order to build and download the APK file or the IPA file for Android and iOS. So you can click on proceed and this will list you all the pricings available. The most basic plan that is available is $19 per month. And this will give you only an Android app and not an iOS app. But if you go for the $39 plan, this will give you both iOS and Android apps. So whatever your business use case is, you can subscribe to whatever plan you like. And if you ask me, this is rather a very affordable option because if you were to actually get an app made for you by, let's say by some freelancer, it's going to cost you way, way more than this. And also it only takes like 10 to 15 minutes to build your app and you can customize it all you want. And hey, you can also directly publish your app to the App Store using App My Site. And obviously, in order to do this as well, you need to upgrade to a premium plan. App My Site also offers different other features. For example, if you go to notifications, from here, you can actually push notifications to your app users. And similarly, you can also integrate chat system within your apps. All these are available in the premium service. And finally, my favorite part, is the monetization part. Let's say you want to monetize your app. You can do that flawlessly from within App My Site itself. You can basically enable Google Ad Mob from App My Site and you can just monetize your app and make money from it with just one click of a button. You don't have to do any maintenance or anything. All that is done by App My Site, which is pretty cool. All right, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and give appmysite.com a try. It's a really cool platform. The link will be in the description below. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you like this video and also do comment in the comment section below. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.